Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I don't typically discuss fragrances here on my channel, but I wanted to try something a little different after my Fleur Discovery set video did pretty good, I will say. Um, I will link it up above in case you missed it and would like to hear my thoughts on a couple of Fleur fragrances. I added the Ellis Brooklyn scent diary. $32 USD, $41 Canadian to cart because at the time I found myself reading a ton of Ellis Brooklyn reviews. I wanted to initially order West, Salt, and Myth to my cart just based on the reviews. Luckily, I purchased the set before I added those three fragrances to cart. So if you would like to see what I would order in a full size, a travel size, or what I would simply just skip, please keep on watching. Uh, for background purposes, um, when I was in my 20s, I would blind buy perfumes or test a few at Sephora on Fridays after work payday of course and I would just buy the my favorite one at the time or that day so I used up only a number very limited number of full size perfumes from those blind buys or impulse buys and the only perfume that I would say I have used up completely emptied and repurchased multiple times have been JLo Glow I know I'm dating myself, and the Dolce & Gabbana Light. So I prefer uh, floral, fruity, floral, uh, clean, fresh scents. Let's dip into the Ellis Brooklyn Scent Diary. This is the first one I tested. This is Super Amber. From the current like sample sets that I have tested recently, these feel a little bit more luxe than the other units I have tried recently. Fragrance family for Super Amber is warm and spicy. A scent type is warm and sheer. Keynotes here are amber, cedarwood, and vanilla orchid. I could really smell the cedarwood upon initial application, but after about three hours of wear, I can really smell the vanilla and the amber here. It's got a soft spiciness to it, which I definitely prefer over really spicy perfumes. And I would describe Super Amber as elegant and not as youthful as some of the other fragrances I have recently tested, such as the Sephora uh, Favorites kit. So I will link that kit up above. I don't think it's still available on the Sephora website, but in that specific video, I test and try the Fleur's Missing Person, Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy, Dolce and Gabbana, Dolce Lily, Burberry Her, and Versace's Eros. Super Amber does not smell like cheap alcohol. It smells delicious, I would say. I feel like this is a perfect fragrance for fall. Um, I could, however, barely smell this on my wrists at 9 p.m., but I enjoyed this so much on the first uh, day that I tested this that I misted this on my skin before bed. Again, I am writing that this is delicious. I think that this is what I wanted somebody would, keynotes here being sandalwood, amber, and musk, to be. Um, sexy, cozy, subtle, absolutely love. So I would just pick up a travel size because this would be a seasonal fragrance for me. As someone who has lived in California her entire life and still live here, our fall and winter seasons are quite short. Not this year, however, because we have gotten so much rain, which we so desperately um, need. So I don't think I would pick up a full size, although I actually find the full size unit to look absolutely 
stunning. This would definitely just be a travel size because I wouldn't wear this every day. Love, love Super Amber. Sunfruit, we have Sunfruit next, which looks like this. This is the second fragrance that I tested and I loved it. I felt like it lasted about a full day. I could definitely barely smell it on my wrists at the end of the day, which for me is like nine o'clock. Not a lot of projection with this, which I think I enjoy. I don't feel like I enjoy fragrances that you know you can just come into a room and everybody smells you. I don't think I like that. Fragrance family here is floral and it is a fruity floral. He notes here are fresh fig, handpicked jasmine, which I absolutely love, and vanilla panifolia. I wore it on a sunny day and it really helped to improve my mood um, despite the sun setting before five o'clock daily. So at the time that I was testing this, the sun was setting before five, but now it is setting after five um, and my mood has already uh, improved. Um, let me know if any of you suffer from SAD or seasonal affective disorder. I know the last couple of years I have really, really felt that, um, but this kind of instantly helped to improve my mood. According to the Sephora site, this is inspired by tan lines, ripe fruit, and bare skin. Oh, bare skin. Love. I can say that I would reach for this on days that are, are bright, sunny, or whenever my mood needs to be lifted. Uh, sometimes that's all the time, but recently I have felt more like myself. I would probably use this whenever I need a mood boost, spring, summer. Um, I would actually pick a travel sized unit of this as I wouldn't say that this is a, a signature scent for me, uh, but more of a, a seasonal fragrance. I can detect the jasmine here upon initial application and I can't honestly say what fresh fig smells like. Personally, I find that this can be a little bit youthful, but it is it is an elegant youthfulness to it, if you will. It is not cheap smelling at all. It does not smell like alcohol. It is just divine. Um, next up, I have Sweet. That's how much I have used of this, if you can tell. Um, I loved the overall body of this an hour after I applied this fragrance. Unfortunately, I could not smell this on me at the end of the day, so this was gone at around nine o'clock. Uh, fragrance family, this is warm and spicy. Scent type, warm and a sweet gourmand. And keynotes, pear, orris, and marshmallow. Um, I do have a KKW scent that does kind of have that marshmallowy uh, scent and I do enjoy it quite a bit. Um, Sweet is described as the joyful essence of living in the present, which I really, really want to do this year. I find that this is sweet, but not sugary sweet. Um, very little projection with this as well. Again, I prefer that. I would say that this is sophisticated, elegant, and warm. I adore this when layered with sunfruit. It is a, a sweet, warm, juicy, marshmallowy cocktail. Um, I would mix both during fall, I think any time of year really. That's what the mixture I have on this arm. For a sophisticated, sweet, signature or scent. Um, and although this isn't a floral, this is the sample I have used and played with the most. Salt is next. Um, I read the notes and several reviews prior to applying this, and this was one that I wanted um, before trying it out. And I was so sure that I was going to absolutely love this. After all, I wanted to blind by this just based on the reviews alone. Uh, the color of the full size unit is absolutely beautiful. It's an allure best of award winner. But I didn't love it. I wore it to the mall uh, that day where I first smelled the Musk Noir Rose by Narcisa Rodriguez. 
Um, but I, I wore this to the mall that day, um, two days before Christmas. And yes, it was wildly loud, crowded and anxiety inducing and smelling this made it even worse. <laughs> if you love this scent, please do not take this personally. Uh, fragrance family, this is fresh. Um, scent type fresh solar. Keynotes here are Lang Lang, Tahitian Tiare, Amber Grease. I am not saying any of these notes the correct way. Uh, this is meant to capture the essence of a salty skin, the creamy heat of the sun, and the whiff of tropical florals. Salt does not give me beach vibes at all. I am from LA and the beaches I personally uh, visit and laid out with, unfortunately, way too long uh, were Long Beach, Santa Monica, and Doc Weiler. Uh, this fragrance reminds me of neither. Maybe after a few hours it'll change. I wrote that in my review. Um, since it's not changing, this is leaning a bit masculine for me. Um, this is a bit warm and a little bit sophisticated. Luckily, I, I, I did not blindly buy this because I would have a full-size unit of salt in my collection that I just wouldn't have liked. And I hate returning things, so I would have probably kept it. I do want to, however, make a mental note here that I want to test this during summer, during those warmer months. I know certain scents smell different depending on, on the weather, your, the season, your mood. So I definitely want to see if this will take me back to to those days will give me that salty skin creamy heat of the sun and those tropical florals for now in winter 2023 i would skip this next i have probably saying this wrong Aprez. This is the fifth scent that i tested and luckily i tested this before bed this is my least favorite so so close to salt. I don't typically gravitate towards earthy, woody scents. Fragrance family, earthy, woody. Scent type, warm, woods. Keynotes, juniper berries, bourbon, and cedar wood. Uh, this is warm, but not the type of warmth that I am digging. I can smell the cedar wood, and I do not like this on me personally. I feel like this smells a bit leathery with a hint of vanilla, and this is a huge, huge no for me. Would definitely, completely, totally skip. Um, from my notes here, I have, I like it, but I don't. There is a bit of warmth here after it's been on the skin for a while and I can get a hint of vanilla and I want to try um, a, a Sephora fragrance vanilla kit. I think there's one in stock right now. Um, since I don't feel like full-on vanilla scents wear nicely on me, but I do want to kind of give it a go if you will. So fragrance family here is warm and spicy. This is a warm and sweet gourmand. Keynotes here are dark rum, vegan honey, and vanilla bean. Um, if I were to wear this, it would be perhaps on like the last days of summer, early fall. I'm sure it'd be a delight to layer with super amber. Um, but who am I kidding? I think one of the best scents in this kit is in fact super amber. So today I layered B with super amber over top here and I feel like B also kind of reminds me of somebody would but B being the slightly better option. Um, I feel like it does have more, more staying power than somebody would by Fleur, but I do do like it alone, but I love it even more when layered with Super Amber. Next, I have West. I wanted to love this because I am a West Coast girl, but my gosh. Um, there is a bit of a peppery soapiness to this that I just absolutely cannot tolerate. Um, when I initially missed this on the skin. This is quite possibly my least favorite bottom three for sure. Fragrance family is fresh, 
scent type fresh citrus fruits keynotes blood orange water lily and vetiver so sephora describes this as a genderless unisex scent which i would agree it it does kind of remind me of of the dolce and gabbana blue after it's been sitting on my skin for a while i did love that scent as a 20 year old gal but it is not my cup of tea now um, a reviewer on the sephora website describes this as fresh citrus unisex little like a, a natural cleaning product and I think I agree on the cleaning product description. It smells soapy to me and it does not vibe with my body chemistry at all. Uh, I am so glad I also tested this at night. I don't think I would have liked walking around smelling like this. Um, and this is another scent I would personally uh, skip and I have not used much here. Sci-fi. Sci-fi is next. Uh, this reminds me of a KKW fragrance that I didn't necessarily love due to its sourness. Um, there's more projection and longevity in the KKW scent. They are both scents that I don't think work with my body chemistry at all. This is described as a warm and spicy scent. Uh, scent type, it is a cool spice. Keynotes, bergamot, green tea, and vanilla beans. This scent is described like stellar science fiction, uniquely familiar, and attractively futuristic. Um... Sadly, I, I do not want this in my future, so skip. Uh, next up, I have Myth. Two mil. I have actually used quite a bit of this. Uh, this smells, unfortunately, like a body mist on me. I really, really wanted to like this based on the reviews themselves. I do find that this is a bit sweet, but no projection or longevity at all. I think that this lasted about an hour on me personally and I also tried this at Sephora before I even picked up this kit and I wanted to love it because everybody else seems to love it but I noticed that it literally disappeared um, before I even made it home. So this and iFi uh, are two that do not last as long as the other scents do sadly. Um, this is a warm and spicy scent. Uh, fragrance, I'm sorry, scent type is warm and sheer. And keynotes are amaretto seeds, jasmine petals, and musk. And because it doesn't last very long, I definitely could not justify spending $108 or even $32 on a travel size unit. This may work for you. If you are very sensitive to scents or fragrances, i.e. they give you a headache, um, and you want to smell fresh and clean without giving yourself and others a headache, um, unfortunately, because there is no projection, no longevity, this is a pass for me. My favorite layering combo is definitely uh, Sunfruit and sweet. I have used them I think about the same amount here. B and super amber. This is another combo that I enjoy. So alone the scents that I enjoy the best that I don't feel like they they need a companion are super amber, sweet, and sunfruit. Um, I would strongly consider purchasing a full size of sweet and sunfruit and a travel size of super amber only because fall and winter literally only last about three days here in California. Um, otherwise, I, I feel like this is one of my favorites of the set. And although I like, keyword, 
being like a B. I don't think I would pick up a full size or a travel size unit. If you like warm, spicy scents, consider layering Super Amber and V and B. They are divine. It is what I have here on my arm. Scents I would skip after trying the Ellis Brooklyn Scent Diary. Uh, Aprez West Salt Myth and Sci-Fi. These aren't like terrible scents. They just don't last. No projection smells like a body mist. These three I would say are the absolute worst for me personally. Um, although salt, I do want to, again, mental note, try this uh, during hot summer month to really see if, if this takes me to the beach. I think there is definitely beauty in discovery sets, especially if you're trying to find a signature scent without blind buying your way through it. Um, this allows you to, to really put these fragrances to the test on different days and it really helps you uh, narrow down your choice. Um, I do not know what uh, discovery set I want to try next. But if you love these types of videos, give it a like, of course, and let me know if there is a discovery set that you would like for me to try uh, in the comments down below. I'd also love to know if you have tried any of the scents we've discussed today. Let me know if you have any favorites, comments, of course. And please, if these are your absolute favorites, West, Salt, or Myth, um, do not take any offense um, that I didn't like your favorite. I think our body chemistry is so, so different that not everything works on everyone, everywhere. Um, so again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Feel free to check out any of the videos that are popping up around here. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I don't know what's happening. It's a weird day. Um, I wrote down, I, I like to script this so I don't go off on tangents, which I still do anyway. I did also spray it on packaging paper. God, I got really dizzy there. I think it's because the camera is just like moving back and forth. Um, okay, maybe I should stop looking. Okay. A more, more.